I know. Is your ID? But so we can one, ID who you there's are? There's one thing that you were missing. Art, is there? Yeah. Right now? And yes. What's your name? I'll tell you. Your I'll name? tell you what you're missing. Your name? No, I'm, I'll tell you what you're missing. Your name? A crime. Your name? You have to have reasonable, articulatable suspicion. I do. That I have committed a crime. Or might be. Or am committing a or crime. Might or might be. about to commit Correct. A crime. And that's Correct. where we're at. So this is a very proud profession. And I'm very proud to be a part of it. Contact him? We believe that he is extremely creepy. <laughs> and what he is doing is a horrible thing. But oh, all man. he's trying to do is do his little bait and switch, yeah. which is I a horrible thing. So it. that's who he is. That's what he's about. Make sure you include that in the story. Don't let anything stand in your way. You know, you're going to have trials, challenges that others will not. And don't make excuses for it. Don't let anything hold you back. Commit a crime, which obviously there is none. So Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Today, we evaluate the very first audit conducted by Flex Your Freedoms that was uploaded just a couple of days ago. Please check out his channel and let him know that Legal Descent sent you. As always, the links to the original channel, video, the contact information of the law enforcement agency involved, case law, and statutes are included in the description below. Flex Your Freedoms is filming from a publicly accessible area outside of the Adams County, Colorado Sheriff's Department when he is approached by several officers, including Commander Michael Robbins of the Adams County Sheriff's Department, whose claim to fame is being shot by another officer who mistook him for a murder suspect because Robbins was in pursuit while not wearing a uniform or a badge. As we can tell, over the last several years, Robbins' professionalism has improved drastically. <coughs> hey, you for ya? Oh, nothing, just getting some shots right now. Shots of what? Uh, I just everything here. Everything? Yeah. Okay. It's a police station. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs> well, do you have any questions? Uh, are, is everything Adams County just closed? Like I can't enter any lobby or anything? Or what's up with that? What What do you need in the lobby for? No, I want to check it out. That's the main thing. Or what? Yeah, uh, just check it out. <laughs> it's kind of odd, right? Uh, I don't think so. Hello, how are you? I'll get you on there too. Huh? Recording people's personal information, is that what you're trying to get at? Personal information? Yeah, license plates, personal cars. That's not my goal, no, but... What is your goal? Just to take pictures. Of people's personal property and license plates? No, of everything, anything I could see from a public spot. Okay, so you're going in to record personal secure information? License plates and other items that can be observed with the naked eye from a public perspective do not contain secure information that has a reasonable expectation of privacy. The United States Supreme Court held in Cardwell v. Lewis that an exterior examination of a vehicle did not impede upon the individual's Fourth Amendment right to be free from unreasonable searches because the vehicle travels through public thoroughfares where both its occupants and its contents are in plain view. Referencing the Supreme Court's holding in Katz versus United States, what a person knowingly exposes to the public, even in his own home or office, is not a subject of Fourth Amendment protection. Therefore, because the employees who own these vehicles are openly exposing their license plates to the public eye, they have no reasonable expectation of privacy. The Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals, which Colorado is in, held in United States versus Walraven that even the information that you can gather from a license plate, which to normal citizens like you and myself is limited, is not subject to the Fourth Amendment because it is only information that you have voluntarily relinquished to the government in exchange for the ability to use that vehicle legally on the public roadways. Therefore, this officer is wrong for implying that this type of behavior is criminal. No. That's what you're doing. That's why I'm asking. Oh, no. That's, what do you mean? I'm just taking pictures. Of people's personal cars, license plates? No, I'm just taking pictures for here. And plus, I can, yeah. But that's not what I was doing. So you're recording people's personal information? I never they're... said that. You said that. No, you are. That's what you just said. You can't do I'm that. I'm taking pictures of anything I can see from a public spot. Okay. That's it, man. You don't got to be, yeah, you don't got to be all I'm not. creeped out at me or nothing. I know I'm kind of ugly, but, oh, you are know. Are you creeped out? <laughs> you feel like I'm creeping you out? or No, the other way. Like, I'm creeping you out. That's why you're out here. Oh, no, we have concerned citizens that work in parts of this building that are concerned about your actions. 
Oh, taking pictures? They are absolutely creeped out by what you're doing right now. Oh. Absolutely. Well, they shouldn't be little, little babies. You know. There shouldn't be babies about it. About doing you nothing taking wrong. pictures of them and their... Walking to their cars and stuff? I'm not walking in anyone's cars. This is a restricted no, area right here. I'm not going past it. Right here, just. Nor will I. Huh? Your thing is to record it. Yeah, I like Let's recording. Come off that way, absolutely. Okay. I'm not doing nothing wrong, man. And I'm not here for any ill intent. It does seem no. like you are here for ill intent. That's Taking exactly pictures what is all ill intent, man. Concerned about a secured area where people work. It is baffling to me that in today's age where there are security cameras and smartphones in every segment of our society that people are creeped out by someone filming in public. Look at the camera just to the left of the officer's head on the wall. Does that creep them out? Further, what kind of ill intent is perceived from an individual standing in the open daylight on public property filming public buildings and officials? Are they afraid of him attacking them with his camera? The auditor is correct. People need to stop being childish and realize that their personal feelings do not trump the rights of the people. Yeah, this is, I, I can go anywhere in the pub. If this, I'm not saying you can't, I'm just yeah. saying you're asking why it appears to be creepy. I'm just explaining oh, to you that, that you don't get it. I mean, I understand that you could feel like uh, me, maybe, everybody well, else no, I'm saying working. you as in you guys, um, Those, that your safety could be, you know, Maybe it'll have some alarms and somebody's out here videotaping, whatever. That's fine to make contact with me. I'm, you know, all about that. I'm not here to hurt you guys. I'm not here for anything. Totally doesn't seem that way. Like, that's uh, what everybody's well, concerned about is you have. Well, very you guys should educate them a little bit. That I don't, actually, can come I don't know why you're doing it. Other I know, than well, you want to give off that vibe. Like, that is your intent is to give off that vibe. Uh, and I'm not mad at you for it. That's how you get down. That's how you get down. Yeah. No, I mean, I support you guys too. So, yeah, I, you sure? Yeah, I mean, don't. I, I just want to tell you guys something. If somebody has a camera, it doesn't mean they hate you guys. Whatsoever. Oh no, it just, I've worked again, with it goes police officers a lot, intent. and it uh, feels like you have very ill intent. But nobody uh, knows no, why. Man. Then no. what are you? Why? Why are you out here? Just to take pictures. I'm working on a story. In a secured area of. Uh, yeah, this is just part of it. I just got here, so I'm Any gonna be doing everything female, here. Female employees. That was female employees. Oh, well, she, she thought you were taking pictures up, of her. So. No, no, that's <laughs> what she did. Again, up, then, you man. did take a recording of her. Female employees are not entitled to special rights that protect them from being filmed when they are in the public arena. It's not having them grow up. That's in what she did. In all honesty, I don't even know what female you're talking about. The in one who came honesty, and complained about this. Oh, she didn't even talk to me. I have no, no idea No, she who didn't because, again, this is man. creepy, as you oh, said. Well, According to her, it's creepy. Oh, okay. As you said, yeah. creeped her out, okay. creeps out a bunch of people. Yeah. But again, I guess you have every intention of doing that. That's the whole purpose of this, or do you have no. another purpose? Um, I'm doing a story on everything, man. What's so, the, huh? What everything? Oh, the, this whole the whole property right here. So I'm gonna go around the building, do everything. I just looked at that. Uh, your statue up there. Um, just got some fine details on there. That girl's even crying if you haven't seen it. Um, I don't know. I haven't Do you know who that is? Uh, I have it on here. It's a sergeant. I don't know who it is, but it's. Uh, I'd have to go read it again. But yeah, that's just a sergeant. Huh? You know what's going on in the world? Yeah. Right? In you know this day and age. It? Yeah, you almost hate this content they have towards us. Well, Do you I know. think that the people that work here, right, especially us, yeah, the citizens that are aligned with us, are kind of concerned of what you're doing? Most auditors are absolutely aware of what is going on in the world today, and that is exactly why they are providing a form of accountability to our community's law enforcement, because we are concerned with what you are doing. Right? That's Does that not stand out as suspicious? Well, it, so if it is suspicious, how can we help you, you so you can move guys. along your way? No, oh, I'm not going to move out of, or move on the way. I'm going to... Get, every, get my everything for the story done, then I'll be out of your hair. What's your story? Well, I'm not going to tell you guys that right now. Huh. May, maybe down the road, um, you know, when I figure out how the publishing, everything is going to work out, you know. Yeah, you guys definitely. 
Sorry. Oh, if, if I committed a crime? No, no. just the suspicious behavior uh, that occurred here. Is that a Again, that the a lady that was creeped out. Again, the lady that was creeped out. Yeah. So we could have the right to just contact you, get your uh, information, and then we'll let you be on your way to oh, do all your but business. I thought this is America, Did you right? you forget about that part? What? This is the part that you're going to just twist around and try to get your story on? No, I just, Again, I know my right. just want your uh, I didn't give my name. Why you, yeah. I didn't give my name. Uh, I didn't give one. You said I'm not committing a crime. Therefore, yeah, I'm not getting ID. Your suspicious behavior. Is that a yes, misdemeanor or a felony? Lady <laughs> that said you're out here recording. Well, her. you guys aren't feeling so again, police. And this might be. Are you, are you stalking her? Am I stalking? I don't even know what lady you're talking about, man. Again, there's a lot of reasons why we have the ability to contact you right now. Yeah. And since nobody wants to press that. No, you guys can contact me all you want. Do again, you guys have, have that obligation? It would be smart. And we do. And oh, we'll, if you definitely. like the statute that says we can oh, absolutely I know the law. get I know your the information. Law. Well, that's you know all we're asking for. You know that's all missing? we're asking for. I know. Is your ID but so we can one, ID who you there's are. There's one thing that you were missing. Art, is there? Yeah. Right now? And yes. What's your name? I'll tell you. Your I'll name? tell you what you're missing. Your name? No, I'm, I'll tell you what you're missing. Your name? A crime. Your name? You have to have reasonable, articulatable suspicion. I do. That I have committed a crime. Or might be. Or am committing a or crime. Might or might be. about to commit Correct. a crime. Correct. And that's Correct. where we're at. So what crime is that? Colorado does authorize law enforcement officers to require identification from individuals in section 16-3-103, but there is no obligation for the individual to identify themselves unless the officer has a reasonable, articulable suspicion that the individual is committing a crime, has committed a crime, or is about to commit a crime. The officer has no reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime taking place in this instance, therefore, the auditor has no legal obligation to provide identification. What crime is that? I don't know. Stalking. Exactly. Stalking. You gotta have that. How's stalking? How's stalking? Stalking. Stalking. stalking is defined in Colorado Revised Statute Section 18-3-602 as when a person knowingly makes a credible threat and in connection with that threat repeatedly follows, approaches, contacts or places under surveillance that person etc to our knowledge no threat has been made so on to the next section which also requires a credible threat the last section of the statute requires the repeated following approaching contacting placing under surveillance etc that would cause a reasonable person to suffer serious emotional distress and has caused serious emotional distress a reasonable person would not be seriously emotionally distressed by the legal activities of an individual who is exercising his constitutional right to film in public. Further, there is no evidence that this recording has occurred repeatedly, which requires more than one occasion. Therefore, the officers lack the factual context to support a reasonable suspicion of the auditor stalking the female employee he happened to film while recording the police parking lot. Yeah, that sounds like you're fishing. Harassment? Sounds like you're fishing. Harassment is defined in section 18-9-111. A person must intend to harass, annoy, or alarm and subject them to physical contact, direct obscene language, or make an obscene gesture. Follow them about initiate communication with them that is obscene, repeatedly call them, make repeated communication at inconvenient hours, or repeatedly insult them in a way that will provoke a violent or disorderly response. None of this applies to an individual filming public buildings and employees from publicly accessible property. Therefore, the officers lack the factual context to reasonably suspect the auditor of harassing the female employee. No, I just want your information so we can let you be on I'll about try, your way. We're not going to get your information. I'll give you my ID. That would be perfect. You Thank you. ID? That's all we need. ID. That'd okay, be great. I'm going to reach my pocket. I appreciate that. Thank you. I know you do. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Oh, you got the big ID right here. Big ID. <laughs> Here you go. Congratulations. Your story is great. <laughs> You're doing a great job for your story. You're doing a great job for your story. You're doing you're doing an outstanding job. I know. Okay. I know. You're amazing. Well, why are you guys out here bothering me? Again, we got a call. 
to contact you. That that's perfect. Citizens fair. that yeah. would like to know exactly why you're recording them. I'm doing a story. I don't know and what citizen you're talking about. Are you talking you about like the to. women up there? You don't need to. Uh, probably well, the I have ones to. that you're that's recording on them that, as well. Somebody uh, complained on me, so I need to know. Again, oh, you don't need to know their name. <laughs> well, that's then you don't need to know silly. mine. I absolutely do. You're well, the one you committing do, the suspicious do, behavior. If, you know, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? So, can we get your ID, please? Absolutely not. Because I'm not committing a crime. I know my you rights. You could be committing a crime. I could be, but am I? Right. That's what we're investigating <laughs> <I know>. now. <laughs> That's what Dude, we're investigating you're fishing. now. You gotta, you gotta try a little bit better. That's what we're investigating I mean, I understand now. if I was out here, maybe if I went through a restricted area, you know. I know it kind of sucks, but you guys gotta know you that. You talk a lot. Well, let, let me tell you a couple things. Keep you guys talking. are, you guys are law enforcement, correct? And you're here not to harass enforcement. law enforcement as no, well as not. anybody that's, out here. <laughs> no, if that's how you get Dude, down, that's, that's how you get down. That's ignorant. Come on. It's impressive that you're trying to make your story. I got you. Well, you this guys are the out police, here on me. I mean, and yes, we got called to you. It wasn't like we came out here. We don't care until somebody who okay. says well, if you don't that care. <laughs> you're creepy. So, okay, let's take that. Does that. You just so, hold somebody, on, let, let's which pause, part do you out. want to take? Do you have your ID? Hold on, time That's out. That's all we're asking is your ID. <laughs> I time, time out. Do you have your ID? Time, time out. Do you have your ID? Hey, time hey. out. Time <laughs> out. Do you have your ID? <laughs> what are you, the I know. opposing team? Here? Are we going to sit here and just try to talk over each other? It's no, I'm just telling you to time out. All right, time out. Do you have your ID? I'm not giving no, you my ID, and I'll never ID. give my ID unless I uh, commit a crime, or am under sus articulable suspicion that I'm going to commit a crime, which obviously there is none. So I mean, it kind of sucks, but you gotta you gotta take a breath, take a seat back, and understand that I've done nothing wrong, man. This is America. You gotta you guys so gotta remember. Is that? trying to leave the well apartment. female who cares if it's a female she was spooked out day, about it right on, why is this person out here taking photographs of me because i can <laughs> so a couple of things here first the auditor does talk a little bit too much always be careful about what you say to law enforcement the words you choose are very important and you could accidentally say something as a joke or a hypothetical that opens the door to give them a good faith exception to violating your rights. The less you say, the better. Second, officers act like giving your ID to them is no big deal. It absolutely is a big deal. It contains your address and enough information for the officer to access an immense amount of data on your life. Don't give your identification unless you are legally obligated to do so. Because I can, man. You can man. just sit here and record. I mean, you guys can watch me. If if you think I'm going to no, do no, something bad, your whole thing. No, we you think you're absolutely me, creepy and we are agreeing is with the citizen. Is it because of my eyeballs? Hold on, I let got me. contacts in? We believe that he is extremely creepy <laughs> and what he is doing is a horrible thing. But oh, all he's trying to do is do his little bait and switch, which is I a horrible thing. Guys, so... Man. That's who he is. That's what he's about. Make sure you include that in the story. I'll keep Sir, it. It's all good. You're dope. You're amazing. Thanks, bro. Make sure you try not to creep out too much. I won't. I'm not. Have a good day. <laughs> all right. You guys take care. See ya. The walk of shame, gentlemen. Learn the law. Guy, learn the law. Walk of shame. It's not creepy to exercise your rights. It's not creepy to hold your government officials accountable. And it's not creepy to stand up to bullies with badges and guns. It's brave, it's admirable, and if done correctly, can hopefully change our society for the better. You know what is creepy? An officer with as big of an ego as Robbins, who is so disgusted and upset with someone who is merely exercising his First Amendment rights then tries to use his authority to pressure him into identifying when he has no legal obligation to do so. The people of Adams County, Colorado pay this man over $120,000 a year, according to OpenPayrolls.com. Feel free to give the Sheriff's Department a call if you think you're getting your money's worth. Thanks for joining us. If you have videos that you like us to evaluate, please send them our way, and we'll see you next time right here on legal descent.